Good afternoon, welcome to a sofa in my parents' house. I've got another package, once again, from none other than UK Departure Boards. So I've previously unboxed the small desktop version of the Departure Board on this channel before, but this time I've got the proper full-size version that also has a couple of new handy-dandy features. So without further ado, let's begin unboxing this thing. Don't mind my laptop wearing it. it, it does that from time to time. Okie dokie, here we go. Nice. Pop that off. And here we are. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I've not got the screen facing either of my cameras, but uh, yes. Here we are. It is, uh, yes. Well, can this come off? There we are. Considerably larger than the previous one I've had. I couldn't uh, really film this in my room, so I've had to come downstairs in my parents' house to be able to actually film this and get everything in camera. <laughs> now this isn't the only thing, I'll just put this on the floor. We've also got a, oh dear, also got a couple of, I can't even reach, I have to just pour it out. There we are, we've got some screws, interesting. I'm assuming that's for mounting it to a wall probably or something. And a little extra box here, which I am assuming has, yes, a couple of cables you can use, all right. Marvellous. A little wall plug you can use. Ah, I see. So this one, because it's a lot larger and I'm assuming it uses a lot more power, you need to actually plug into a proper main socket. You can't just put it into a power bank like the previous one. So, let's begin setting this bad boy up. So I've got an extension cord down here off uh, out of the view of the camera. I'll just get that plugged in and then we'll plug it into the actual screen itself. Now, where does this go? Is there a... Aha! I think I've found it. There we are! Nice! Oh, look at that! That is amazing! Oh, it's so much bigger than the last one. Slowly, uh, slowly but surely initialising. So we'll just, I'll just let it initialise and then we'll continue from there. There is also a micro USB port on this thing. I'm not exactly sure what they'll be used for. I'm sure I'll find out in due course. There we are. I've heard a bing bong. There we are. Nice. Okay, so device Wi-Fi setup, connect to the departure board network, go to yada yada. Okay, so I've got my laptop here for that. So I will go ahead and get that done right now. So as it says on the board here, we need to connect the laptop to the departure board network, which I've done on here. And then we need to go to this URL via the web browser, which does a bunch of technical magic that makes this thing work. I I won't be able to explain it. Okay, just like that. There we go. So I'll connect it to my Wi-Fi network. You know, it has been so long since I've actually had to put in the Wi-Fi password. I don't actually remember what it is. Give me a second. Okay, well, I've put it in anyway. I've, I've guessed it, if I can even remember it, but we should hopefully, uh, hopefully that should work. We'll, we'll find out quickly if it was the wrong password. Oh, apparently not. Nope. No, I got, I got the Wi-Fi password right. I have genuinely not had to put in my Wi-Fi password in a couple of years now, <laughs> but there we are. So, as you can see here, it has defaulted to Bristol Temple Meads because that's where uh, Russell, who makes all these departure boards, is from. So, you know, makes sense he default it to his hometown. <laughs> but what we need to do now is we need to go to the departure board configuration and I'm going to go ahead and add board because I've got the original desktop board that I have, which actually... Funnily enough, I left in Basingstoke accidentally with Nat, so uh, she, she's got that departure board for the time being. <laughs> so we have to put in the board serial, which I didn't write. It, it, sho it shows you the serial on the thing when it boots up, and we have to reboot it. Give me a minute. Just unplug it and plug it back in. That, that always works. That always works. God, it's so much brighter. Oh my god. <laughs> I've not configured any like brightness settings yet, but yeah, this is... Uh, well, it's because it's, it's a lot larger. It's just so bright. All right, there we are. Put in the serial number of the board, and there we go. We've got access to all of the wonderful controls for this board. So, of course, I'm going to set it to... Oh, you know what? I was going to set it to just like a local station, but I'm thinking, what do I... I think mainly to showcase, because what Russell told me was that a new feature these has is the new uh, two-watt speaker in this thing. So, of course, I'm going to begin by uh, setting up you know, a few announcements on this thing. So I'll go to a station that gets quite a few departures. Let's go with London Waterloo. Okay, there we are. Okay, so London Waterloo, update board. 
and slowly but surely it should update this board here to show the departures from Waterloo instead of Bristol. There we are, cool, nice. The next service is the 1506 from Platform 3 to Hampton Court. And just hang tight while I try and get the actual announcements to work. Oh, every darn time, it's always as simple as just forgetting to actually click the activate audio button. Okay, now it should be working. So once it reboots, it should give it a bit of time to update. And now I switched it to Clapham Junction as well because that way we get actually more departures. There it is. The next train to arrive at platform three will be the 1514 Southwestern Railway. Nice. <laughs> I just can't get over it, like, I love stuff like this. It's so cool. Thank you, Russell, for allowing me to try this out. This is amazing. So on top of this, you can actually also customize, this was something I didn't showcase in the last one, but you can customize, you know, how this entire screen actually looks. You can customize the colors, the sizes of things, the formatting. And I'm gonna try and do that now if I can. So here you are, you can see the things on the configuration here, which is like, you know, calling at text, the color you can use with that, service order number text, and you can just customize any single one, really. Oh. Sorry to that the Indeed. Oh no. Now that's unfortunate. Because the thing is, these are real-time departures, so there are some very real people actually currently delayed on that train. And there's a, there's a cancelled Southern service to Rygate. Oh dear, that's a shame. I'm trying to think, how can we adapt a... Or how can we try and make this look like an existing departure board style? I'm, I'm curious now, I want to see. I think I'll set the clock to show for five seconds. We could make the... Oh, hello. Hang on. I'm going to have to disable these for now just so I don't get interrupted while I'm talking. <laughs> so yeah, we can make this uh, any any sort of colour. If I do... Calling at, shall I do... Should we just make this like a complete mess of colours? This is going to be... You know, this is going to be the, the ugliest departure board you'll have ever seen, but, you know, it's... It's it's all it's all for the tech showcasing. Oh yeah, okay. Let's see uh, let's see what this has done. I I might I might regret doing this. <laughs> oh my god, it's like it's 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 like a Christmas decoration. It's so <laughs> it's very colorful. But you can make any any sort of part, you know, the departures, the uh, calling at points, the clock, the expected departure, the cancel, you can make them any color you want. So it's entirely customizable. I think for me though, I will make everything yellow for the time being and then so then I can just choose afterwards if I want to change anything in particular there we are update board okay there we are cool now everything is yellow marvelous nice plain canvas we've cleansed the palette anyway what was I doing ah yes let's uh do some more stuff with this speaker so I'm gonna I'm gonna crank it up to maximum I might regret this, but we'll see. I'm going to crank it up to maximum volume and just seeing how how powerful it really is. The next train to arrive at Platform oh, nice. will be the 1521 Southwestern Railway service to Shepparton, calling at Wimbledon, Rains Park, New Malden, Northern, It's just, it's great. Hampton Wick. Like the, the reverb. I love the fact that you can add reverb. You can fully customize how much reverb it has. But it sort of gives it the illusion, the sort of immersion of you being at a station, which is brilliant. Anyway, uh, now that I've showcased that, I will deactivate the audio again. <laughs> Having this playing constantly will get a little bit annoying. So of course, National Rail is not the only thing you can do. You can do tram and metro, you can do bus stops if you want to. Um, I would do tube, but unfortunately, uh, TFL feeds are currently down due to uh, recent events. But here I can do, let's do Manchester Airport, tram stop, and then, nice, cool, trams to Deansgate Castlefield. Easy as that. And I love how it's also like sort of styled a bit like the um, departure boards at the Manchester Metrolink stops. It's just, yeah, I like the attention to detail here. Oh, <laughs> the approaching's in green because I, uh, that, I, I clearly forgot to set that one to be yellow, but oh well, whatever, we'll just leave it be. Of course, there's more than Metrolink. We can also do what's, uh, ooh, I'm trying to think, what's a random Metro stop? Ah, of course, Nexus, that's a thing. What if we do something like East Bolden? There we are, okay, update board. Let's, let's see if we can get a, 
if we can get a departure from somewhere on the Tynan Weir Metro. Yep, there it is. South Hilton. In two minutes, train to the airport in 14 minutes. Yep, Tynan Weir Metro all works just fine. Let's do a bus stop. We've got this bus stop, Homewood Road. Uh, sure, let's, let's do that one. I don't know where the hell that is, but we'll give it a shot. Apparently it's somewhere near like Clapham. I'm not too sure. Yep, there we are. Buses to West Croydon, Clapham Park, Atkins Road, Streatham Station, the 250 and the 159. I don't know enough about the buses to, you know, know where they would run exactly, apart from, well, the destination on there. But still, you know, for any, any bus nerds, you can still use these. It says on here you can do Irish Rail. I'm very curious. What is a station that there is in Ireland? Can I do... Dublin, Dublin Connolly, perhaps, maybe? Oh, yep, you actually can. You can do Irish trains as well. They even work on this thing. So, Hazel Hatch and North Howth, or wherever those places are. I've never been to Ireland before, so I don't know any of those, but still, you're not even limited to Britain. Look at that. So one new thing soon coming to the departure boards is freight services. This is still currently in testing. Uh, it's not publicly available as of this video being filmed, but Russell has thankfully given me some early access to give it a try. So if I go here to junctions and sidings, and then I think I'll have to make the freight service destination text something. I'll just make that yellow as well. Sure. And then, sure, Bristol Freightliner Terminal. Sure, that works. I cannot think of anywhere else to put, you know, a freight station, but we'll, we'll give it a try. So Bristol Freightliner Terminal, if it ends up updating. Okay, Bristol Freightliner Terminal, it says currently no services available at this time. I'm unsure as to whether, you know, there are simply no services going out of the Freightliner Terminal or if it's still incomplete at the moment. Uh, obviously, you know, it is still in testing, it's not a public feature, so it would make sense that not everything is completed yet. Ahaha, there we are, okay. I put Denton Station Junction in, and now, there we are. We've got some freight services showing up. Denton to the rescue once again. <laughs> there we are, look at that, we've got services to Guide Bridge, New Mill South Junction, Hazel Grove High Level Junction. Oh my god, for all the calling points, that is incredible. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't wait for this to be a public feature and everyone else can try this out and just find all the bizarre places these freight trains go to. Edgeley Junction, Stockport. Oh my god. That is incredible. I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. I wonder if there's announcements for this, actually. I, I, I don't know if there will be, but you know what? Let's just make the device audio active. And let's see, let's see if these actually exist. However, that would mean Eleanor Hamilton will have had to record probably thousands upon thousands of voice lines, which I, y y y I think it's quite unlikely. No, I don't, I don't think there are. I don't think there's any. <laughs> that would have been funny, but this really doesn't surprise me. I want to hear more announcements though, so I'm going to go to, let's set the departure board to Basingstoke. And let's just, let's just get some of that going. Next service is a delayed service to Weymouth and Pool. Huh. Interesting. There we are. The next train to arrive at Platform 2 will be the 1549 Southwestern Railway service to Weymouth and Poole, calling at Winchester. The cool thing is, because Eleanor Hamilton is actually the announcer on the SWR trains anyway, so it makes sense having her voice these ones. So yeah, that's that. Another departure board in the collection. Thank you very much, Russell, for sending me this. So honestly, yeah, I would recommend getting one of these. It's so cool to just like hang up as an ornament or whatever, just for, or even, you know, you can wake up in the morning and see your departure board for your local station on just your wall, if you have it hung up on your wall or whatever, you can see if your train, like used commute or whatever, is delayed. And I think these, these can have a genuine use, I think, in day-to-day -day life. So it's cool. You should get one of these. These are very cool. Thank you, Russell, for sending me this and giving me access to the freight uh, data early ahead of time. Oh, God. I need to turn her off. Give me a second. So I hope you enjoyed me unboxing another departure board. This will make a fine addition to the collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now and a warm welcome to my new Standard Premium member, Crispin McKee.
Thank you all for supporting the channel.